Hello and welcome back. Today we're looking at the SJ4000 uh, camera. It's a little GoPro-like clone. It's very similar to the GoPro. It's got Wi-Fi and all the other stuff. Uh, it's full 1080p resolution. Uh, in addition, unlike the GoPro, it actually has a little screen on the back that you can see there that allows you to, to preview your shots. Uh, we're going to be going through how to set it up for FPV. and It does do FPV quite nicely. In order to do that, you need to actually make or fashion a little uh, cable. I haven't seen one. So you can see Right here is our cable end that we're going to connect to the SJ4000 with. This is the end of a micro USB cable. I used a razor blade to get it out of the of the actual cable end and then I soldered on uh, the white there is soldered on a pin 4. Uh, you can usually tell pin 4 in most cables because there's nothing soldered onto it. It's not really used by most micro USB cables right now. And then the gray uh, right here is hooked onto pin 1 and it's also got a little jumper there hooking it onto the chassis. So that's our micro USB connection. And those those two pins, pin one and pin four, are the only pins that need to be connected in order to uh, to actually make this work for FPV. Okay, now in order to actually set up the SJ cam, you need to press the power and the down button at the same time until the menu comes up, and then on the menu you're going to work your way down until it gets to TV out. Once you get to TV out, switch that to on, at which point that will turn off and the, uh, the TV out will now be active. There you go. Uh, you can see that the on-screen display is working quite nicely. I've got my artificial horizon, all my readouts. I'm indoors, so I don't really have a GPS fix, uh, but the quality of the picture is actually very, very good uh, in that it can actually record in 1080p and serve as the FPV display is quite nice. It's very really similar to the GoPro in that respect, uh, but it's only about a third the cost. 